No. How interesting is that? Hey guys, do you speak English? He speaks good English. Too. That's cool. Speak English? Speak English? Not so good. Not so good, <laughs> huh? You speak four languages and you say that's all. He's a potato pancake. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Oh, you're not from Latvia. Latvia. <laughs> yeah. Speak English? Statistically, everybody. So Million that's... subscribers? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from the magnificent city of Riga. And today, we're going to check out if the locals here speak English. And if they do, how well? Good morning. Excuse me? No? It's a good start. Let's go. <laughs> Look what a lovely dog, guys. Absolutely lovely. Are you, are you local? Are you from here? No, no, no. Oh, where are you from? Just, uh, I'm from uh, Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland. Oh, you travel with your dog? That is so cool. So, I, assuming you do speak English, right? <laughs> My name's Justin, by the way. Nice to meet you. So, you're a tourist from Switzerland. What part of Switzerland? That's a great country. From uh, Neuchâtel. It's uh, French speaking. Ah, so you speak French? You speak French? Yes, yes. Ah, d'accord. And you too? Well, yes, sometimes. Little dog's a bit nervous right there. No, it's normal. He can do it. He doesn't do anything. Because... You also speak Russian? It's my game. Dobby. How interesting that you're talking about in Russian. Probably better than me. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from England, but I'm actually making a video today about how well Latvians speak English. And the first person I meet is Swiss. Is Swiss person? Speaks perfect English and Russian. This is amazing. <laughs> perfect Russian, though, but are you going to Hungary as well by any chance? Sometimes I do. Why? Is there anything happening now? I'm originally from there. Ah, Ojevod. You're a customer. <laughs> See you later, my friend. Magia, Magia, right? Yes. How interesting is that? So, yeah, Riga during the summer is a hot tourist destination. But this guy was super cool. Travels with his dog and off to a Russian course. Hey, guys, do you speak English? Uh, yes, I speak English. Ah, you, you speak English? Yes. you from here? Something like that. I'm looking for a place called Origo. Train, uh, first train to the center. Where is the green park? I appreciate it. So this way and right, basically. Yes. Great. Your English is very good. Where did you learn English? Games. Games? Yes. <laughs> what games do you like to play? Scrabble? No, no internet games. Oh, internet games. And that helps you learn English? Uh, talking to other people. Maybe 20% is Russian. You speak Russian? Yes. Я тоже умею немножко на русском. Спасибо вам большое. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay. Have a great day. Yes. So I'll head down there. <laughs> so, fairly friendly people too, which is a cool thing. There's a nice little coffee shop, bakery, patisserie right here. Let's see how well they speak English. Good morning. Look at this stuff, guys. Good morning. Do you speak English? Can I get a uh, flat white, please? Okay, let's go. Uh, I'll drink it up. Yeah, I'll take it away. Yeah, good idea. Lovely, thank you very much. We're all set. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Decent coffee there. Hey guys, do you speak English? Yes, okay. I'm looking for uh, Origo. Origo? Origo? Uh, go going, uh, go going uh, to the street, uh, but uh, left. Left, then left. turn left. Left. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good day. You too, my friend. Surprise, surprise. It's not good to be prejudiced or judgmental, but I didn't expect that. That's cool. Good morning. Do you speak English? English? Huh? English? Do you speak English? No? Thank you. Very kind gentleman, but didn't speak English. By the way, guys, the reason why everything's shut is not because the downtown pretty much dies over the weekend, it's because it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. So I'm up early. Thought I'd get an early start. Good morning, young lady. Do you speak English? English? No? Thank you. Now guys, it's pretty obvious. I've been here for a while. And there'll be a huge divide between the abilities of the youngsters to speak English and the older generation. Good morning, my friend. Do you speak English? Say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> Where are you from? From here. Are you local? Yeah. But you speak English? I do. Because a lot of my viewers like to travel, but they always ask me a common question wherever I go. How well do they speak English over there? Level here is pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty right. high. I'm, I'm really impressed, especially with the younger generation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I just spoke to a lady over there. Obviously, she didn't speak any English. But as a rule, the younger people, good morning. Good morning. See that? She responded in English. Very nice. Where are you from? Sweden. 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 Yeah. Good morning. 
Mycket bra. <laughs> so, as you see, tourists, multinational city, and they speak English. Thank you very much, friend, for your time. You're welcome. Have a great day. And very friendly. Good morning. How are you? Good. Speak English? Yes. Origo, could you help me out with Origo? Straight. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a great day. As you can see, guys, you won't have any trouble here. Good morning, young lady. Do you speak English? Yeah. Lovely. Looking for a place called Origo. Um, okay, so keep talking. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're not local. I'm from Australia. Are you on holiday? Um, this is family. Oh, you're family here. So you're Latvian and Australian? Or Australian Latvian? Well, Latvian moved to Australia. What's your name? Olga. Olga. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. I'm Justin. You look gorgeous, Olga. You just made my morning. Thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye. Australian, of all places. She was local, actually lived in Australia, but her English was absolutely perfect. Good morning, mate. Speak English? Yep. Nice one. From here, local? Obviously. Obviously, he speaks good English too. I'm making a little video for my uh, subscribers to show them just how well Latvians can speak English, because they always ask me the countries I go to, do the locals speak English? You yeah. obviously do, and very well. Because I was working abroad, that's why. Oh, where did you work? Iceland, Norway, UK, Ireland, Netherlands. You're a traveler. Somewhere, somewhere else. What did you do in all these places? I was working at airports. I was asking questions. Security questions? Or? Yeah, usually for Sasha, uh, not Sasha, but uh, USA travelers and uh, Canadians and uh, Indians who are trying to get there. Ah, uh, making sure Checking they got the right visa, visa and everything visa, else. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there. Good luck, man. Have a great day, mate. Thanks a lot. No problem. So, yeah, this is an easy one. Riga, as you can very well see, is super easy. I think. So far, the only person that didn't speak to the camera was the grumpy little old lady. But maybe she was busy. Maybe she didn't have time. And that doesn't necessarily mean she didn't speak English. But everyone else, statistically, everybody speaks English pretty much. So guys, right here is my favorite park in Riga called Vermin's Park. And look at this. They've got some kind of market going on, which is always good. You know how much I love my markets. There's a guy there at the fountain, filling up water. Good morning, mate. Good morning. Speak English? No, a little bit, yes. Medium, I don't ask him. Is this drinking water? Yeah. Is it new? It's normal water. Yeah, but it's a new. Lot, I've never seen this like before. In, uh, like in a shop. Really? Yeah. And it's free? Yeah, it's free. Guys, this is really impressive. I was walking around Yerevan recently in Armenia and they put water fountains literally scattered everywhere. Now I have seen them in parks before and granted we are in a park so this is brilliant for the kids that come out to play. Well good luck my friend. Yes, thank have you. a good one. That's brand new because... Huh? Have a nice day. You too. That must be new because I've, ne I've never seen that before which I think in parks at the very least it should be there. Kids playing around, running around, sweaty, thirsty. Brilliant. Morning fellas. Morning. Speak English? Everybody yes. speaks English in this country. I'm actually making a video to see how well people speak English here. Yeah. And everyone I've spoken to speak in, speaks English. Yeah. We, Where did we, you learn English? In school. In regular school? Yeah. No, and you? Two. As well, huh? Yeah, school or uh, TV, something like that. Wow, you guys speak very good English. Yeah, thank you. I understand very better uh, Russian. А, oh, you, you understand better Russian? Yeah. Тогда вы на русском умеете? Да. Я тоже немножко. Это очень хорошо. Да. Ну, помогает. А латвийский? Да. Эс мацос, латвийшу володу. Это Да. Это супер. So yeah, it's I like, I like languages. It's good to know a lot of languages. Young fellas, speak perfect English. Thanks a lot, yeah. guys. Have a good Have one. Nice you too. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look at these knives. Handmade? Handmade. Yes. You make it? Yes. This. Wow, it's really well balanced, huh? It's nice. Fantastic, my friend. Excellent. Hello, my friend. How are you? Have a good day. Good morning, young lady. What are you selling here? These? Soap flowers. This is soap flowers? Ah, so basically you grab that in the shower and just rub yeah. yourself down with a bouquet? Yeah, maybe. You pick them out by one and then you wash your hands, basically. 
But these can just stay there and smell and look Wait, good if you... Do you make this stuff? You make this? This is your work? Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is absolutely phenomenal. Handmade soap. Take a look, guys. First of all, it smells amazing. Ah, oh, yeah. Nice quick shower. How long does it take you to make one of these? Well, I have many molds. Oh, okay. So I just pour them all in. And then you've got... And then I wait. And, and then, then I pour them all again, and then I wait. But at the end of the day, I have soap for several bouquets. So the molds make each individual element, but then you still have to build a bouquet, right? Mm -hmm. And how much is a bouquet like that? This one is 25 euros. This size is 40 euros. Great gift idea, guys. Have you got an Instagram with this? Flower Bath, is that your company? Mm -hmm. It is. That's so cool, guys. I'm going to link that. To, I love seeing artwork like this, so I'm going to link it in the... Um, well, right now, you're going to see it. I'll find her Instagram and put it in the video, because this is really phenomenal. It smells amazing, and you speak great English. Where are you from? Thank you. I'm from Latvia. <laughs> it's somewhere in... It's small. You probably didn't know. Where did you learn English? I'm just curious. School. <laughs> really? That well? I'm the generation that speaks English well. I don't know. Well, yeah, but still, I mean, I go to countries where not everybody speaks English necessarily. You don't, as an English person, I'm not going to take it for granted. I think mm -hmm. it's great that I can travel and communicate in English, but it's still impressive. Thank you. Look what I did, guys. I'm being, I'm being flash now. Cool. Look at that guy. She scanned my phone. How flashy is that? And now she's a subscriber. Great to meet you, Christina. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye. What a lovely young lady. Good morning, fellas. How are you? What are you selling? Honey? Honey, yeah. I love honey. <laughs> there is buckwheat honey. Buckwheat honey? Yeah. Your English is very good. Oh, I speak daily. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. How come? Uh, because of play games and uh, talking with friends. Yeah, they, they, uh, they like it. Mother and father. <laughs> but you, mother and father. Uh, yeah, they don't, they so don't it's a family-run family business. They don't speak English at all, almost. <laughs> Very good English. I thought it was English for a moment. So these are all your own bees? Yeah. Yes. They're today wow. on the display. <laughs> our own, uh, your own honey yeah. production? Yeah. So this it's is all, all your yeah, own stuff? All our own. Yeah. You know, guys, I love to see stuff like this. And I'm just happy. because of that, I'm going to buy some of your honey. Because it's not just yeah. you import it. This is your own yeah, honey. This, yeah, this is our own, yeah. All right, which one would you recommend I try? The honey is from trees, uh, from the forest, and like from the fields. It's a mix. Yeah, it's all handwritten, really. Yeah, artisan here. Uh, yeah, it's my own design also. Very nice. <laughs> so also, you're a graphic designer as yeah, well. Yeah. Look at that. All his own work. Fantastic. I'm going to take this just because okay. you're nice guys and it's your own honey. Yeah. So let me just pay the guy. Well, that's brilliant. Yeah. My friend, exactly. have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Visulabu. How cool was that? Their own honey. Super delicious. Cool little market. Hello, mate. Handmade dominoes. Look at that. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? You Very make good. all this stuff? Yes, by myself. Handmade? Like you uh, cut it or what? It's, uh, with CNC and the laser table with a big drill oh. <laughs> and it's going. Drill. What's your name? Roland. Roland. Yes. Nice to meet you, my friend. Good English, by the way. Thank you very much. You. I appreciate it. <laughs> Good morning, young lady. Good morning. How are you? Well, Speak English. English. That's fantastic. Everybody in Latvia speaks English. This is wonderful. Of course. Well, it's not so obvious. Not One every... more uh, language, it's uh, better than nothing. Yes, but in England, nobody speaks Latvian. I promise you that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Have a fantastic day, young lady. And very nice stuff. Good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. Caviar breads. Look at that. It's a soap. It's a soap, yeah? Yes. Don't eat it. No. <laughs> you make this? That is the one. Ah, yes. Handmade. Handmade? Handmade. Uh-huh. Clean with the caviar. Does it smell like fish? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> well, thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. Great. Have a nice day. And you're also selling soap? Yes. It's very popular to sell soap in Latvia. Wow, smells good for beer. <laughs> and are there any proven benefits for washing with beer? You speak very good English. Not so good. <laughs> Not so good, huh? My husband is better. Oh, okay. He's a sailor, so... <laughs> He's a sailor. You're just helping out today, huh? You're I work with lace earrings and you make some these. bracelets. You yes. make these? Yes. A nice little earrings here with... Is it amethyst? Uh, no, it's Austrian crystals. Very nice, though. 
These are handmade as well? Yes, this is handmade. This is by my friends. This feels so soft. Yes. So nice. Love it. Love how creative Latvians are. Really creative. Your name is? Uh, Anastasia. Anastasia. I'm Justin. Lovely <laughs> nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Have a great day. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. How fantastic is that, guys? Now, bear in mind, the young lady that I approached there, who didn't speak very well, she still made an effort. She still tried. Good morning, young lady. What is this? Oh, so not for me. I thought I was going to taste something. <laughs> no, it's for dogs. Can I look? Looks delicious, though. It looks really delicious. Homemade, you make them yourself? Yes, yes. So you make your own dog treats? Yes. And the dogs love them. Yes. That's the main thing. Brilliant. I love this. Thank you. Have a great day. Ah, I'll tell you what, finding this market has made my life so much easier. Good morning, young lady. Morning. Are these handmade handbags? Yes. Do you make these as well? Yes. So everybody here is a phenomenal artist. <laughs> this is a handmade handbag made out of wool. What would something like this cost? What's the price? Today is 70 euro. That's a very good price for a handmade handbag. Look how cool this looks. I mean, not for me, obviously. I can't walk around with that, but... They're for men's. You made them too? Yeah, this leather. These are cool. Same price? Oh, this has got to be more no. expensive. It's got leather These in it. These are more expensive because this new collection also 140. Your name is? Christina. Christina. I'm Justin. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Have a fantastic day. Good luck today. Same I hope you sell you. a lot. You. Let me guess. This is soap, right? Yeah. You want to eat this stuff? Look yeah. at this! So, better not different. Smells so. just like so it's ice like cream. Coffee. Oh, guys, it really smells <laughs> authentic. This is really lovely. Your wife makes all of this? Yes. Yeah. Have a great day, my friend. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you too. bye. Good morning. Amber. Amber. Typical for the region, guys. We're on the Baltic Sea, so amber is very common here. Best amber in the world, apparently. Oh, I love this. Look at this, guys. We have a hip flask for your vodka made from amber and the Joker. Hello, mate. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Very Marcelo. Well. Nice What's your name? You. Marcelo. Oh, you're not from Latvia. Ah. I'm from Argentina. Ah, no me digo. Eh, sí, un poquito. <laughs> qué bien. Te, te lo digo un poquito. ¿De dónde eres? Yo ¿De soy, dónde soy inglés, de Inglaterra. Ah, pero qué bien que hablas español. Cuando hace falta, no Cuando... siempre, pero... No, pero es terrible el acento buenísimo que tiene. No ¿Te, te gusta? Pensé que era... sí, perfecto. Pensé que eras de Latinoamérica o algo no, así. No, todavía no, pero en breve. En breve. <risa> ¿Mujer? ¿Mujer? ¿Latinoamericana? No, tampoco. Ah, ¿no? Pero no, viví un tiempo en, en España por eso. Ah, claro. Pero me encantan las, los idiomas, entonces siempre cuando tengo la oportunidad de aprender uno, claro. lo cojo, pero... Perfecto, wow. Qué bien, ¿y qué estás vendiendo hoy? Eh, yo estoy ayudando a mi mujer, ella es mi mujer vineta. Hola, mujer ella vineta. De acá, de acá de Riga. Y ella... ¿Habla español? Uh, I'm, uh, can't, uh, yo, canta en español. Canta en español. Pero no me digas. No hablo. Bésame, bésame canta, mucho. Canta algo. ¿Cómo era tu nombre? Yo, Justin. Justin, canta Justin. algo. Justin. Canta algo, por favor. Oh my goodness, I'm so sleepy. Which, no which pasa song? nada. <laughs> Eres mi medicina. No, this, this song. <laughs> this no? One, Mira. She doesn't, uh, he doesn't know this song. No importa. Despacito. Ah, no. no, 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 no. Listen, I, it's, it's, <laughs> I love music. Songs. Oh, you write your own song? Yes. Then you yeah. have to sing. Because that's, you never know who is going to hear it. But you have the guitar. You have the, you so have you the write your own music? Yes. Yeah, so you're musicians? Yeah, we're art artists basically. I draw these dolls. This is all my drawings. This is Lima. This is fantastic. Oh, Lima. Latvian. Uh, yeah, I draw it. I call it Lima. It's Look like at this, sharp. guys! I love this. We are play, we are play for November for Birmingham market. Yeah, Birmingham. We are with yeah. Birmingham. Her uh, paper here dolls. The... So this is Lima. This is the same girl. Yeah, you can change the outfits. Oh, this so is... this is magnet. These are magnets. Yeah. This is so magnet. cool. Guys. So it's a combine of fashion. She yeah. designed everything. Wait. So how cool and how creative are the Latvians? I mean, everything <laughs> here is handmade. I've seen bags yeah. made out of wool. Uh, ice creams made out of soap. Unicorn. Yeah, now I'm fascinated about yeah. your Latvian local. Yes. He's yes. Argentinian. And this is yeah. our music. Where did you guys meet? In, In Amsterdam. Amsterdam. <laughs> guys, this, is our song. this is their original. Let's listen. She's the singer. Are you singing? Yeah. Music, lyrics, everything. We made. 
Hey, so cool. Sounds really good. ¿Y cuánto tiempo llevas aquí en nueve? Nueve meses o años? años. Nueve yeah. años. Entonces hablas de ton. Sí que más bien. Betia, ya para medina, para medina, para probo es chuchu Gabriel Paruski, Toshe, Niemnoga, Poliglot. Sometimes I mix Russian and Latvian because it's es falso está la trichuga lodo. Oh, that's not nice. He speaks nice as well. He also speaks nice. ¿Cómo te llamas? Well, Marcelo. Marcelo, Justin, want to wish you good luck uh, with your day. I hope it goes well for you. Marcelo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Un placer. Encantado. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Justin. Justin. What a great you. group of guys, guys. I'm gonna actually um, put their Insta. Do you have an Instagram? Yes, I have. Some I'll put I'll put your the Instagram right here, right now. Check out this work. It's so unique. Good morning. How are you? What stone is this? Lava. Oh, lava. You make all this stuff? Handmade by you. So you must be Nicole Nicole Skaya. Yeah. How creative are these people? This whole market is fascinating, really. Nice to meet you, Nicole Skaya. What's your name, Nicole Skaya? Alina. Alina. And you're wearing them yourself. They look really good. These are your earrings, yeah? Alina, nice to meet you. Have a fantastic day. And here's the most important man of the day, the ice cream seller. What flavors you got? <laughs> How are you, mate? It's a bit early for ice cream, isn't it? But still. It is. It's, but you speak very good English. I just, you said two words. It is yes, and it was almost flawless. What, do you live in in, in uh, an English-speaking country? No, I live here. Very impressed. All the best, mate. Thank you. Oh, look at this! All this Latvian traditional insignia. This would make a cool gift. Yeah, that's the keychain, and the full description is in it. If you open so up. So you this, actually uh, explain the symbolism that is in the. Yeah. This yeah, sign yeah. symbolizes life, energy, vitality, powerful protection, triumph of light over darkness, happiness, balanced energy, and self confidence. It is advised to charge the sign with the user's energy by expressing, expressing clear a clear or wish, wish or intent. Exactly, yeah. The whole idea is. Million subscribers? How about that? <laughs> Yeah, the idea is that it's not just one traditional ethnographic Latvian sign, but they are put together here in some special ways to help reach different goals. Ah, so this is like mystical stuff. We can compare it maybe to mandalas or to yantras. So good. they really look. You make these? Uh, the artist who made the design, it's uh, Brigitta Ekterman. It's my mom. She worked with those signs long years now, so she really has an idea how to put them together. She's a well-known artist here in Latvia. That's wow. a third book from her. There's a picture. There's your yeah. You know, that is so cool. I tell you what, guys, this is really well made. And it's uh, all made by the hands of my brother. It's a f whole family thing, yeah. huh? And you're the sales guy. Exactly. Love it. That's, Don't that's, you just love that's that? That's my post. Mom's designs, brother's creation, and, and this story, guy's yeah. presentation. Actually, and, uh, the front man, the, yeah. the, 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 the show man. That's so cool. How much are these? Uh, it's 10 euros. I'm gonna pick one, guys, because I really like this. I'm gonna choose one. Just, I'll show you which one I picked. So it's not a photo paper. If you look in a light, you can see that the color goes through it. Can you see oh, yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That is so amazing. it's not a photo paper. It's uh, it's gonna be much more sun resistant and it's uh, waterproof too. So my friend Yanis here helped me choose. I've taken this one as a gift for someone, and I think it's a lovely gift. If you turn it a little bit on a on a side. You can see as the as the light goes through the the picture. Oh, you see? Yep. It's not only 3D, but it's also also the picture itself. So, that is uh, so cool, Yanis. A real pleasure. Thank Your you. English is very good, by the way. Thank you. Where did you learn? Uh, a little bit everywhere. My French is better. They say. Ah, vous parlez français aussi? Oui. Ma super. J'ai pendant 5 ans à Genève, école supérieure de beaux-arts. Ah, en Suisse. Donc, oui, oui, oui. Mais c'est 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 côté. Donc vous parlez tout doucement là. <laughs> <laughs> okay, merci encore une fois. Thank you, John. Thank no, you no, very much. John, but, uh, Justin, 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 almost. Justin, Yanis. Have a great stay. Thanks a lot, mate, and thanks for that. Uh, tell your mum it's fantastic from me. Okay, I will. Thank you. See you later. More amber right there. Good morning, young ladies. Handmade by you guys. Yes, of course. Do you spin it on a clay wheel or is yes. it really? Yes. I've never done that. I've always wanted to try and do that. So you speak. I'm making actually a vlog right now about 
how well people speak English in Latvia. Oh. And I'm really impressed. But you speak English, German, Latvian, Russian too. Russian too. And that's all. That's all, like yeah. it's not enough. You speak four languages <laughs> and you say that's all. Yeah. What's going to be the next one? I would like Italy, maybe. Italiano. Italiano. Ah, whistles. Yes. You make this yourself? Yeah. You can make it look like an Aladdin's lamp as well with, yeah, a, yeah, with yeah. a whistle. Need to try some. That would be cool, wouldn't yeah. it? That's a good idea I just yes, gave you. Good. Well, young ladies, thank you very much. Have a fantastic day. Thank I you. wish you all the best of luck with your business today. Thank you. Bye bye. Great day. Wow, this is nice. It's 3D printed. 3D printed? Yes. You're a 3D printer? Yes. My husband... Uh, it's so light. Huh? Yeah, but with water, it's very stable and heavy. You can feel the difference. So with water... Yeah. Yeah, with water, that'll hold the bouquet no problem. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from England. Oh. Yeah. How do you like it here? I love it. Okay. It's really nice. And I'm, I'm making a video today about how well Latvians speak English oh. and you guys have blown my mind how well you speak English and so many polyglots as well, people that speak English, Russian, French, Spanish, I mean, you but know. But we have to. Like, well, no, you don't have to, you just you choose to. Here, I mean. But we are learning that all in school, like from the first grade already, so... How cool is that, guys? Pleasure to meet you. For the nice work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank this you. really looks amazing. I'll be in touch with so, you. Oh, this is the man. This is the designer. Wow, the man, this stuff uh, really looks good. I was, I was going to say, <laughs> I've seen 3D design stuff before, but this stuff doesn't have all those lines in it, you know, like you usually see. A lot of hours in it. Hundreds of hours. This is not for sale. This was just for our son, like to show what we can do with the 3D printer. Gold, silver and bronze. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at this. You remember guys I made the video when uh, Latvia got third place in the championship and that they was had huge. Yeah, I made a video about it. <laughs> and look what they've done in, in commemoration for that. This yeah. is so wonderful. Once again, this stuff really looks good. It's 3D printed but really artistic. I'll put their Instagram right here as we speak and take a look because this stuff's really cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much you. guys. Have a, nice Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Guys, I tell you what, what a fantastic surprise to fall on this market. Guys, this park today is just amazing. The weather is great. There's the market going on. I was so happy to see that the local government put in a water fountain at the entrance that can serve for dogs, children, people to take water home. It's absolutely fantastic. And after coming back from Yerevan, it's really a pleasure to see that because over there you have drinking water everywhere. But I also love this park very much. And right here, guys, there's a statue that commemorates a guy called Mikhail Tal. He was a chess master, world champion. And he's from Latvia, from Riga, actually. I think he was born in 1932 or 36, anyway, in 1930s and died in 1992, I think. But yeah, story behind this guy. So it says that when he was dying in hospital, he had some illness and he was in a really bad shape. He actually got himself out of hospital to go and play against Gary Kasparov in a tournament, actually beat him, went back to hospital to die. Yeah, this is the, the, the one guy that Gary Kasparov feared. So, and he was Latvian and they commemorate him right here in my favorite park, Vermin's Park. So guys, when you come out of this park, Vermin's Park, on the intersection of Terbatas and Elizabeth Street, you have this phenomenal place called Lido. They specialize in local foods. I think it's time for a breakfast, so let's go and see what the Lido breakfast is like. So it's cool, right at the entrance, there's a place to wash your hands. Very thoughtful, actually. Let's go and get some breakfast. Look at the varieties here, guys. Excuse me, no. Oh no? no? Why not? Anyway, she said no filming, but I'm going for these right here. Some pancakes. Good morning, young lady. Thank you very much. So I'm going to have this outside because I've already been told not to film, but I have an issue with authority. I'm sure they're filming me in here. There are cameras everywhere. So if they can film me, I should be able to film them. Let's enjoy this. So guys, I've taken two types of pancakes. One, you might be familiar with, your traditional crepe. 
this one is filled with cottage cheese. And right there, guys, what we have is a potato pancake. A bit like a hash brown back home, but you have it with sour cream and jam, and it's absolutely amazing. This is the Latvian sour cream, I've got to say. The dairy products here are absolutely amazing. Strawberry jam. I know, sour cream with potatoes and jam, it just works. And that's the end result. Now, I'll tell you, if you do come to Latvia, come to Riga, try this out. Phenomenal. This is the potato one, guys. Absolutely fabulous. Mmm, the crunch on that. And this, guys, is your stand one. Filled with cottage cheese. Delicious. Love it. Guys, I'm going to dig into my breakfast here. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And as a conclusion, I'll tell you, the Latvians speak very good English. And it's widely spread. And they speak many other languages too. I'm really, really impressed. Well, until the next time, guys, enjoy your journey.